Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Solo Sunday. Today we're going to be doing the solo mode for Verdant. Uh, Verdant's a game by AEG and Flatout Games. It is um, in the line with Calico and Cascadia. It's kind of that like puzzly sort of like abstract. I don't know. It's they're similar, but they're very different. Um, and but this one's really card. This is a card driven one. And kind of the thing is we're gonna you know make this house essentially with these rooms and plants. Um, and we're gonna try to score a bunch of points. Now in the regular solo mode, you can just play, and then when you get to the very end. Uh, there's a scoring matrix and it tells you how well you did. All their games do that, but the other thing all their games do, which I really enjoy, is scenarios. So um, we're just going to be doing the first scenario here. In the first scenario, we need to score 70 points, and we're going to use the goals, the uh, AAB goals. And so before I get into that, basically what we're going to end up doing is i got to actually start. We're going to start with um, a room and a card, or a room and a plant, and we're going to arrange them and start our, our house, or I think it's a house, and um, there are like a bunch of scoring metrics. So one of the things that we're going to score with is uh, verdancy. And so uh, every plant has this, and the green screen is going to be fun for this. Every plant has this um, verdancy count here. And so basically any time you place a room adjacent to that plant that matches the sunlight uh, requirements, you'll add a verdancy token to it. And when you get to the maximum number, so for example, in this one is six, you will plot the plant. When you pot the plant, um, you score the max the points underneath, which is six points in this case. The um, rooms all have different sunlight um, uh, on depending on what side of the room is, so that's going to be important in placing them. Um, and then the color of the room matters in that any plants that are adjacent to that room that are the matching color will score a point. Um, but if you get an item that is the same color as the room, it will double that. Um, there is also, um, when we get, when we get to the very end, the verdancy tokens that don't fulfill on a plant, we'll get, uh, two, for every two, we'll get a point. The pots, uh, all have points, so we'll get points for our potting our plants. Um, there are items, so like items and pets, so f there's a, a piece to where we get so many points for each different kind we have. We'll get three points if we have one of every plant, and we'll get three points if we have one in every room. And then there are the goals. So the, the the solo stuff works based on the goals. So the first one, uh, there's a there's a uh, plant goal, an item goal, and a room goal. So the first plant goal is going to be um, apartment living, which is going to be uh, two points for each completed plant with verdancy requirement of four or fewer. So again, this one's six. So we want to probably aim for some smaller ones, but none of them are small coming out. The item goal is pot pairs. We're going to get two points for each uh, matching pair of pots. And then the uh, room goal is matchy matchy. We're gonna get a point for each room with a matching item. Now the basically flow of the game is that um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually place these here. We're making a three by five grid if I haven't said that already. These are our small vertency tokens and then these big ones are our uh, three three piece. So this is one and that's three. Um, we're gonna make this three by five grid and kind of the flow of the game is we'll take a card and a token from the same column. And we'll we'll take one, whichever one we card we don't take, we'll put a green thumb token on, and then everything in the right hand column gets kicked out, and then we'll move everything over to the right, and then we'll refill these pots at the top for the solo mode. Um, we are when we pot a plant, we'll take the top right one from the column. Uh, if we don't pot a plant by the end of the turn, uh, it'll get kicked out. But if we do, we'll take the top right one, pot the plant with that one, and then. Uh, uh, another one will come fill it and so this this one's lower value there's only four of them and then when those are gone we've got these ones which are a uh, one point value so they're even lower and then on the last round we'll have to use the terracotta pots which are worth no points if we were to pot a subsequent plant within a round so we've already taken this top one and we're going to plant again we'll take the lowest valued one in the discard pile so we kind of want to plant um, as early as we can to get the maximum amount of points the green thumb tokens have a bunch of different uses. We start the game with two in solo, um, but basically you can you can discard two of them to uh, replace any number of replace any number of the tokens. So we can get, like get rid of tokens and then refill. We can remove any cards that don't have any tokens on them and refill. We can um, take any card and token combination. So we can like if I wanted to, I could take these two. 
or we could uh, add a verdancy to a to a plant. And then finally, we have item storage here. We can store one item. So as long as we have one item here by the end of the turn, uh, otherwise we have to discard. So my green screen is being kind of funny. Okay, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. We'll kind of get into it. There are also these green items, and I'll kind of show those real quick. They're nurture actions. So the three green items, and again, the green screen's funny. The fertilizer will add uh, up to three verdancy to a plant. The hand trowel will add one verdancy up to three plants, so kind of the inverse. And then the watering can will add one to any plant in a, adjacent to a single room. So you can get up to four, really, if you time it right. All right, so um, we've got this going. We're going to set that up. So let's go ahead and just get started here. So I think kind of right off the bat, we can start with these blues. The thing is, is that we don't have a lot of low values. But do I actually, do I want it this way? Let me think about this for a second. I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, we'll just we'll just leave it that way. So I think what I'm gonna do, um, I want to kind of plant pot pot some stuff. So we're gonna grab this stuff first. We're gonna grab this. So we're gonna get one of these. I'm gonna set it here for now, and it's just gonna rabbit's foot fern. So it's got a verdancy of five, and it needs like dark and half light. So we're gonna put it here. We'll get a verdancy on that. This card will get a token. Um, I can add up to three verdancy or to a single plant. So I guess I'll do that. We'll just discard that and make that one a little easier to get. Or actually, I could do this, spend my two tokens, and we can already pot this plant. So, boom, potted. Great. Okay. So then now that we're done with the turn, and really, I mean, really quick, we're going to discard everything on the right hand column. We're going to, any tokens here are going to move over to the card to the left, or to, to the right. Or to, to its left. Uh, if you get to a point where a card has three or more, you discard all the tokens off that card. And then we just slide everything down. So everything moves over to the right. We're going to add a pot there. We're going to refill. Oh, and that's what I want, is that. And we're going to put a token in the middle. And there we go. All right. So I think just kind of the way it worked out, we're going to grab this one. It's going to give us a burden C token here for matching here and here. It's the arrowhead line. So it's four points. This will work with our one objective. And then we're going to grab this token. I'm going to set in here. You don't have to put the um, token in a matching color room. And that may come to that point later down the road. Um, but ideally, you want to. Um, so that's that turn. We're going to move this down. This will get discarded. This will get discarded. This will get discarded. And this will get discarded. And then we're going to slide everything down. Add a new one here. And for the consistency sake, I'm going to just refill from left to right. So when there's a gap, uh, I'll start with the left one. Okay, I want this dog. And I wanted this room, so this is going to work out. So, but I kind of need this room for here. I mean, I could do it here and get the verdancy there, so that's probably what we're going to do. So we're going to take this, take this. This this one is already completed, so it's not going to matter, but we'll get a verdancy token for this. I will get my thumb. We'll put the dog here, and then I can put this lamp there. Um, this will get a token. This will get discarded. This will move over. This will get discarded. This will get discarded. So I'm going to hopefully try to plant, pot something else this turn so that I can get another one of those stone pots um, so that I can get my pair. So there's that and there's that. All right. So let's see what we got here. Oh. Okay. So I think this orange would match, but the thing is, is that I don't. It's like a full block, and this doesn't have that, so that one's not going to really be a good option. Um, this would be good because I'll be able to get burdency for both of them, and then I'll get this watering can, which will let me. I could do this and this again. That might be good. So let's do that. So let's get this. We'll get uh, burdency for here and here. I'm going to use this watering can, and that's going to give me another thing here, which is going to fulfill it for being four, and then this will become three. Let's do that. Um, 
this will get the token. This will get moved over. All right. Pretty quick game. And the pots, it's just, there's a lot of, it takes up a lot of space for the camera, which is partly why I haven't wanted to play. I mean, I may try to see if I can get some sort of kind of bigger Euro game, because that's what I just super duper enjoy. I mean, I like these two, but getting like a big Euro game, but this table space is kind of hard to catch on camera with, with my particular setup. So we'll have to figure something else out for that. Okay. I'm going to probably move these up just a tad because I'm going to need rows up here for the for the top of the house. So I think now I'm kind of in a good spot with a lot of this other stuff. I think let's start kind of getting some other colors just so that we can maybe get the points for um, different plants and different uh, rooms. Plus the item situation here, there's not a lot of options. So this is we're going to go for this, and I'm going to put it... Ooh, I don't think I like that yet. Actually, let's go with this one. I don't know if... So the other thing is you can't put a house or a room in a plant... You can't put a room next to a room and a plant next to a plant. So they have to they have to be... And they have to be adjacent as you place them. So they have to be kind of uh, mix-matched there. Uh, checker pattern. So we'll do this. We'll grab this for the here. I'll take this. This will let me add uh, one verdancy to three plants. So we're going to hold on to that for now. Put this here. And then this will get moved down. This will get kicked out. Boom, boom. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to want this yellow guy, which is the Floris Cic Cicliman. But it's got three verdancy, so, and it needs this here. So we're going to get that, put that there. We'll get the two tokens. It'll get a verdancy for that. And then I'll hold, I'll hold for, I don't think I've added a token here, so this will get a token. Let's do, I'm going to move this down just a little bit because once you've kind of established the grid, you can't move. So I can place here or place here. So I'll probably place here and then that'll be that boundary of my grid. So move these down. Oh, we got to put this pot here. That's out. So down, 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 down. So I'm not getting a lot of items here, which is kind of troubling. So we'll get this. This will go there. Um, we're going to get a verdancy there. And then I can spend this to add three verdancy to a plant. So we're going to add three to this one, which is going to fulfill it. We'll pot this. I will spend two tokens to add a verdancy to this plant. So we're going to pot this. Now we're going to take the lowest, uh, because we took the top one here, the, the top um, pot, we're going to take the lowest one from the discard pile, which is another one of these. So that gets another pair. So we're good with the, for the pair thing there. Uh, we'll get that here. And this is my grid. So I can't really, I can't, this is the boundary that I have to work with now, which makes it kind of makes it, that, I think this is probably the most interesting part because you've got this physical like thing you've got to work with the, within the bounds of this here. So anyway, we'll, do, we'll do, move that down. We'll discard this. We'll move this down. Um, this slides down, this slides down, this slides down, that's that other one. Okay. So the pots are on top. We're on the, um, second to last, uh, or whatever. I don't, I don't know what they are. Whatever one pots. Okay, so we do have a dog. So this, I mean, this will score us two points won't from here, but from the perspective of like getting a bunch of different items. So we have three different items right now. That'll score us six points. If we get to a fourth different item, that jumps to nine. And if we somehow got all eight of them, it's 25. So it's a big chunk of points. So we may kind of um, ignore that for the moment. I think what I'll do is I want to kind of get a plant 
And so I think what we'll do is we'll grab this one and get this token here. I'm gonna put this here. That's gonna get us a bird and see. And I don't wanna lose this lamp. Oh, but the lamp's not gonna matter for point wise either because we already have a lamp. But that's okay, we'll take it. So I'm gonna spend this, it's kind of a waste, but it's just so that I don't have to lose that item, which is gonna get us just one on this. Um, this will get a token. Okay, move down, move down, discard, and then slide. Hens and chicks, that's the plant we got, hens and chicks. Okay, I would like another light blue because that would get us a bunch of points. Uh, it would get us, not a bunch, but more points there. So I was going to get this room. So yeah, we're going to grab this room, put this here. We'll get this token I'm going to actually put here. Uh, we're going to get those two. It's going to be potted because we've got now three there. And then I'm going to put this lamp here. And then this will get a third token. And so we're gonna end it. This would, they'd move over here, but because this would have, th um, yeah, this would have three. We're gonna wipe it, um, and then everything slides. And so now we're on the last four turns. You play exactly thirteen turns. Oh, the, I need that parakeet. So I have this, 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 and this to fill. So here, it would be good to have a, any of these rooms just for the points there. But if I can go for yellow, I, I don't think it, re it doesn't really matter ultimately. It's just it's going to matter what kind of item I get to kind of if I can double the points there. I could put this yellow here, and then so it's, I have a room here, a room here. No, I'm sorry, a plant here, a, a room here, a plant here, and a room here. So I need two plants. I think I'll go for this yellow plant because it'll score me. Um, actually, this is what we're going to do. We're going to spend two tokens. And I'm going to take this plant, which is this false shamrock. We're going to place it here. And I'm going to use that to take this uh, fertilizer. We're going to set that there. That's going to get us two verdancy for having, it takes all three, so it doesn't matter what's there. This will get thrown there and then kicked out. Slide down, oh, that gets removed. Slide down, slide down, slide down. Um, we're gonna refill, refill, and then token and token. Okay, so there were, I had a plan. I need another plant. And if I get the thing is, these plants, none of these plants up here really work all that well for what I want. I need three more on this. I can, I, yeah, I could have spent this um, and filled this up to, to five and then potted it. So we're going to do that. So I'm, ideally, I'd like to pot something else and then get the last one of those pairs and then we'd be good. So it's something that's got to be small. Which I could get this. So we're going to do this. We're going to take this. First off, we're gonna place that there. Gonna put a token here. Uh, this will get moved down. Out, out, out. We've got one more uh, pot left. Now, if we were to pot multiple things next turn, we would use the discard pile. But once we get to the final turn, we can't use any of the discard pile pots. We only can use the terracotta pots. So, I think for this, we're going to take that's not a really good plan for that. That's what I was going to do, but it's not a really good plan for that. None of these are good plans for that. I could take... The lamp and the parakeet aren't new, but I don't have a cat. If I could get that cat, that'll give me one, two, three, four five different items 
because I got the lamp and, and the dog already accounted for. And none of these plants really work for the colors that I have kind of set up down here. And uh, um, so I think we're just looking to optimize points here. So this is what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take this and when I put that there, I don't know if this is the right play or not, but yeah, and I'm not gonna be able to plant anything. So we're not gonna get the extra points for that, but that's okay. All right, and now we're on the last turn here. So this is gonna come out. All right, pretty quick game. So I have to get a room, or I have to get a plant. Whatever plant I get, it's not gonna have a whole lot to work with here. So um, I think I could take, I could take this spider plant here. We're gonna take this fish. We're gonna place this here. We're gonna get that token. I'm gonna put this fish here. And then we're going to get three verdancy because it does all around. And I'm gonna spend my two tokens here to get another verdancy because that'll get us another point. Boom. Okay, so that's my house. That's everything. So let's go down the line on scoring here. So, so we, we score with, here are the scoring metrics. So we're gonna score completed plants uh, every for one point for every two verdancy pot values, uh, rooms with matching uh, with matching plants adjacent, and then two points if they're matching items as well, uh, different items, and then um, collector and decorator, which is three points if you have one of each of everything for both rooms and plants. So first off, completed plants. This is completed, so that's three, six, uh, ten, fifteen, twenty one. 24, 24, Oop. then we're going to go down on extra verdancy, which I have here, which is four, so that's two points, that's why I wanted to do that, because the, the thumbs tokens don't give you anything at the end, so that's two points for that, um, pot bonuses, so there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I did get two stone pots, or one pots. So two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Room bonuses. So we're going to just go from le left to right, top to bottom. So we're going to get one, two, three, four, because it's adjacent to two yellows. We're going to get five, six, because there's one or uh, orange. Uh, seven, eight. And we get two because it's a matching thing. So there's eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nothing there, 17, 18, and then 19, 20. They only, only count for one. Uh, furnitures and pets, we have one, two, three, four. That's already been counted. Five, that's already been counted. Six. So six is going to be 16 points. Uh, plant collector bonus, do I have one of every plant? I've got a yellow, a purple, a, um, a orange, a light blue, and a dark blue. So that's three points. But rooms, I don't have every room. I'm missing a dark blue room. So I got zero points for that. And then the plant goal is going to be, so the first plant goal, is, or first, the plant goal is two points for each completed plant with a verdancy of four or less. So there's one, two, three. So that's six points. The item goal is going to be uh, for every pa pair of matching pots, which I have two pair, three pairs of matching pots, which is six, because there's the two ones, the two twos, and the two threes. And then Items matching in rooms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for that. So that is 96 points. I only needed 70 to win. Uh, so that was actually pretty easy. Wasn't too bad. Not like the Calico one. So um, anyway, that's going to be the game for today. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys played Verdant, what do you think between Calico? Because Calico, Cascadia, and Verdant all get compared. Honestly, I think between the three... I, I like the this piece of this the most of the three. I think Calico um, Calico is like the most difficult and I wish it had more scenarios. But what I like about Calico is that like you're it really works your brain. This seems a little like this and Cascadia seem 
uh, easier. So I like Calico's hard. I like this this piece of building the actual house here. And then Cal Cascadia, I probably like the freedom. Like, because you're working with five different scoring metrics there. So you've got to figure out the, like, how do I can, can work with all of these. And the, the scenarios in Cascadia are a lot of fun. I mean, I've gone through most of them. So Calico and this one, I haven't gone through as many, obviously, because they're newer for me. So anyway, if you guys want to see some more Verdant, we can go down the rest of the scenarios. I would love to do that. I probably will anyway, but let me know what you guys think about it. Um, anyway, that's going to be the game for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.